afternoon, family and friends. Uh, I am Sergeant OCD. Thank you uh, to all my subs and viewers for watching. Um, today, we're going to do some more dangerous stuff. Not happy with the way my chamber is for my oil burner. So, I found this. I put this in here. I stick some holes in there. And cut up a brake drum. Actually, it's not a drum. Ooh, not on my stone. Um, that's a brake rotor. And we're going to cut that up just round enough so this piece fits in. And um, hopefully, I can get a nice little chamber in there. So this. Because I've got to cut my stove to get these pieces in. You know, it is what it is. Um, I don't think my hole is big enough um, from the top, but I am going to try. But uh, I'm willing to do that. Um, but I found this um, in my shed. And I'm like, hey, little tiki torches? Guess what I could burn? Alcohol. So this is part of my little weapon trough from yesterday for my old alcohol burner, version prototype one, and I just started a fire in here. I don't want it to get too hot. It's uh, 45 today, you know, 70 yesterday, 60, 70 yesterday. So, I'm going to see how hot this gets. This alcohol burns pretty hot. So, with these type of things, um, I should be able to heat, throw some heat out of these rooms, uh, out of this. You know, maybe heat up a room a little bit more. Um, I'm just, you know, really, I'm not trying to go 90 degrees to heat a room. You know, I'm trying to just take the chill off, make it comfortable. Um, the idea, if I have a couple of these, if I put them in a, like a dog kennel, um, I could just let the heat dissipate out of that and, you know, none of my animals will knock them over. But this is obviously to be knocked over, so, you know, i got to put a base for it or stick this in a base like uh, Robert Murray Smith did. Um, I watch a lot of his videos. You get a lot of good ideas from him. Anyway, again, that's. I seem to say this in a lot during my videos. That's what not. The, that's not what this video is about. Um, let me start cutting in on this stuff, and uh, we'll retrofit it into my oil burner today, and fire that puppy back up. See if I can make it work better.
put the uh, flex seal around the nozzle I put in. I didn't seal the bottom, so obviously I have oil leaking out of it. The only other thing I have to do, so the other pot that was here fits right in. I don't have to alter that. I could throw that right in. The oil um, tube comes out right on top. Um, the only thing I have to do is cut this rotor out and it's just going to be the, the center portion. Um, that's all the bigger I have and I have to cut one of these holes completely out because that's where my oil line is. All right, that was fun. Um, so, I'm gonna keep one glove on. So this is all I needed to cut out. I probably need more, but ideally, the air, the oil is gonna come in right here. The air is right on top. So I have a completely <clears throat> uh, I'm more enclosed where the air is just going to blow straight into this chamber. I think that was my downfall, but um, you know, two and a half grinding or cutting wheels later, that's how long it takes to go through a rotor. So, um, don't know what I'm going to use this for, but it's going into my metal pile. Anyway, I'm going to fire all this up. Um, I am going to JB weld more of my uh, air line because in the midst of putting this in, I moved it. So obviously it's not going to be tight anymore. So I'm probably going to do that first. But uh, I'll meet you over at the stove. Put it all together. <clears throat> Definitely got to start this thing with a torch. Um, just fill a piece of paper up top. I ain't got to worry about it right now. Um, that whole combustion chamber is pretty good. Let me move the camera off of here. So I don't know if you could see the drip, but it's starting to get hot now. And that flame's coming out of that combustion chamber everywhere. Let's see if I can get over here. working 100% better. So the key is to have a tight combustion chamber and air blowing into it. Turn the air off. Well, obviously my air works. That's the Venturi effect that I wanted. But so there's a couple people that commented that my the angle of my oil is uh, should be at a more of an angle, and they use like 22 degrees. Um, I may have to go ahead and do that because I don't think I have a problem with it. But um, yeah, I just saw it drip off the back side. So, <clears throat> you know, I do agree with you guys that I should uh, angle that a little bit more. And I will get on that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the oil off. Water bag off. Oh, no, you're back on. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Serious 
soap bike's getting hot now. It wasn't getting hot before. out I didn't need to cut that piece out anyway but it doesn't matter to me that's pretty awesome though anyway family friends um, thank you for all the comments thank you thanks everyone for all the help uh, God bless you take care and uh, I'll catch you all on the flip side